Greetings, dear ladies. I am Cryon of Magnetic Service. Before I say anything, I say what I always do. There is no gender on my side of the veil. And for these moments, I am a sister. Ignore the voice and the timbre and look at the consciousness of the message. There is so much to say about what you have just heard, but we have to say something, even though it speaks volumes. The tones of Yah Yi have finally made it to the sisterhood. And what is significant is that Yah Yi was never in a sisterhood. And so this is an integration. And it is a metaphor of the integration, even from the beginning, of the masculine and the feminine. It is a metaphor for that which we told you was the prediction of the planet that all the indigenous knew. The transmission that you just heard is the first one of its kind, given from that which he describes as his Pleiadian mother into the sisterhood, which never happened before. All of the tones that were delivered at the time of Lemuria were structured, highly structured more so than anything you have known now for a beginning civilization of structure. The sisterhood we have not told you all about yet, it still reveals itself little by little. There is so much I could tell you about that which you think is chance. For instance, right now, who sits before me? Who sat before me last week and the week before and the week before? What are the odds that all of you from so many paths of life, again I say, would be female this time around? Enjoying our gender together, what are the odds of this right now? And that you would also have participated as a female in Lemuria. And I will tell you, the odds are phenomenally against it. And that is why it is so special. <laughs> Synchronicity has really nothing to do with it, except that it got you here today. You were planned. When you passed the marker and the precession of the equinoxes and the 26,000 year cycle was complete, it was planned that indeed we would be female at that time to honor that which might have discovery in it, that you would come to a meeting and remember. You don't remember the ceremony, that's not what it's about. Not even the camaraderie, I want you to remember the enablement. I want you to remember the participation that you had. Lemuria was very different than perhaps you would imagine, number one. It was a small continent pushed out of the water by the magma, the bubble, from below, almost entirely pushing that which is the mountain of Hawaii and all of the islands with it into one large landmass. For hundreds of years it existed like this. It came up and subsided. 
And while it was up, you were part of it, and the Lemurians arrived. The Pleiadians, being the Lemurians, I speak up. And it's hard to tell the difference because many of them were what you would be calling hybrids. And that would be Yai. Having the parent as a Pleiadian and being some of the first human souls on the planet to have a partner, a mother and a father that were very different. Dear ones, we forgot to tell you something. Now we didn't forget, my partner forgot. Last week, we described a circle of Lemurian sisters that were together celebrating birth and death. We forgot to tell you, not me, my partner. <laughs> and the reason he forgot is he did not recognize it as significant. My partner does not have your consciousness. And so he reports that which he sees. It goes through his filters. He saw you around a birthing pond. And he did not see the significance of the underwater birth. This is the way it worked. For at the time, as is now in the tropics of the planet, the water was warm. It symbolizes many things in an underwater birth, but it's also at that time very healthy for the child. The salt water is healing. It is the right temperature. Being born into it is simply being part of the fluid that it was already in. The child is comfortable with the birth. The child is suspended in the water until it's time to cut the cord. Then it is pulled up and its first cry is heard. It is a more gentle experience and you were part of it. He just forgot to tell you. He didn't recognize it for what it was. It is interesting perhaps to you to know also that not all females on Lemuria were part of the sisterhood. Right or wrong, the civilization and the society was structured as a beginning consciousness. You were elected by the various families to represent them in the sisterhood. So the sisterhood actually becomes those who would later be elders in training for eldership. It is a special group. Whereas perhaps you thought you were simply part of all of the women, you were not. Lemuria was larger than you think, and the population grew, and yet the sisterhood did not. So you see, it was an elite group, a selected group, an elected group. And the election was by those who were the most representative of the female Pleiadians. <laughs> the models were there. You revered their angelicness and their compassion and their benevolence to you. A long lasting female source. Let it not be lost on you. That Yai, high priest of Lemuria, got everything he needed from a woman, everything. We have never, ever mentioned his father. His father was off doing other things as a human being, but never was he part of the wisdom giving or the science or the compassion. It all came from his mother. This sets the stage and even today, perhaps I talk cryptically, you would understand the metaphor is complete, for he comes back to you in something he never did in Lemuria. Combining the male and the female, just for a moment, in compassion, in song, in celebration for who you are. We are together with Meliha and with Yahi. Never before. Let the meeting begin. And so it is. <laughs>